Good morning, guys. So the last couple days, we've been working on those letter combinations that make that er sound because we were introduced to combination IR and combination UR. So let's see what we're going to be working on today. First, we're going to do something special. We're going to alphabetize these words. So remember, when we alphabetize something, we put them in A, B, C order. And we always start with our first letter, which sometimes is called a guide letter. So whichever one of these words whose letters the first guide letter starts the earliest in the alphabet is going to go first. So we can look straight down an alphabet. Do we have any words that start with A? Mm, no. Do we have any words that start with B? We do. We have this word right here. Let's sound out that word and see if we can read it. We have b -urn, burn. So burn is going to be first if we alphabetize these words. Then do we have any words that start with C? We do. It's right here. Let's try to sound out that one. K herb, curb. So, so far we have burn and then curb. Any words that start with D? Nope. How about E? Nope. How about S? Can you point at it? Yeah, it's right here. Let's try to sound it out. Er, fur. So, so far we have burn, then curb, and then fur. Okay, how about G? Nope. H? Oh, there it is, right at the end. So look at this word. I see that D-L-E. So remember, I know that's going to be a part by itself. So then I'm just going to look at the beginning to sound it out. H-er. So my first syllable is her, and then I add that D-L-E, which, which says dual. So hurdle, hurdle. So, so far we have burn, then curb, then fur, then hurdle. Then do we have any words that start with I? How about J? Yeah. We have j, er, and then I've got this y at the end. So remember that y at the end can say e or i. So j, er, i, j, er, i. Does that make sense? No. How about j, er, e, jury? Does that sound right? It does, jury. So we have burn, curb, fur, hurdle, jury, and we only have one more word left, which is the word nurse. And N is way down here, so we know it would come last. Good job. All right, we are going to go ahead and name our letter cards. Remember, we've added some new ones this week, so you want to be really careful when we get to them. Are you ready? We have digraph TH. This is when we added this week. Combination UR. Digraph EE. -E. Combination ER. Trigraph. I G H. We have vowel Y, A consonant E, final syllable T L E, digraph A Y, final syllable P L E, U consonant E, E consonant E, final syllable D L E, W, O consonant E, combination O R. Here's another one, combination I-R, then A-R, combination A-R, digraph A-I, I consonant E, final syllable G-L-E, combination Q-U, final syllable B-L-E, digraph C-H, Y, Q, V, Final syllable, F-L-E. Very good. All right. And our letter spelling sound cards. Are you ready? So we have sheep, E, digraph E, cheese, ch, digraph C-H, rain, A, digraph A-I, staple, pull, final syllable, P-L-E. How about this one? Bugle, ghoul, final syllable, G-L-E, hey, A, digraph A-Y, very good. Yarn, Y, Y, horse, or, combination, O-R, 
bird, er. Combination, I, R, butter, er. Combination, E, R, feather, e. Digraph, T, H, turtle, er. Combination, U, R. And we have cube, U. U consonant E. Wagon, W. W. Thimble. Digraph TH. Dime, I. I consonant E. Shark, SH. Digraph SH. Vest, M. V. Light, I. Trigraph IGH. Hose, O. O consonant E, candle, dull. Final syllable, D L E, fox, x, x, bubble, bull. Final syllable, B L E, hook, uh. Is a digraph O O, cry, I, bow, Y, star, R. Combination A R tooth ooh digraph O O elephant E eh. E quilt qua combination Q U candy E vowel Y very good okay you're gonna echo these words and listen for the sound that's the same in each word are you ready so I have scent Circus cycle. Scent circus cycle. Hmm. What sound do you hear in that? Scent circus cycle. So what did you hear in each of these words? Scent circle cycle. You hear that s -s sound. But I want you to look at these words. Scent circle cycle. What letter or letters do you think are making that s sound? Hmm. That's right. In this case, the C is not making the k sound that we're used to. It's making the s sound. So, and we just said, what's the other sound that C makes? It usually makes the k sound. So when C makes the s sound, we call it a soft C because it's soft, or we call it sedilla. Sedilla C. That's kind of a tricky word, and we'll work on it more. Okay, we code the soft C by putting the sedilla underneath it, okay? So look, this is what a sedilla is. It kind of looks like a little squirrely line. It's And what it is is it makes you think of the sound S. So look, if you take the C and go like this, and then it curves back around like an S, it's showing you that that C makes that sound. So it's like an S. Remember how when we do the, the S that makes the Z sound, we put the line through it so it kind of looks like a Z? That's the same thing that we're using with this sedilla. So when we coded the word scent, it made that sound, so we added that sedilla. And then the E, you can see, is short. Over here, same thing. We added that sedilla, and then we put, arced our IR together, and you can see that final syllable, C-L-E. And the same thing over here, we have final syllable C-L-E, and we've got that cycle. So here's our trick. Are you ready? C makes the sound when it's in front of the letters E, I, or Y. So look, it says if it's in front of E. It says if it's in front of I. It says if it's in front of Y. If it's in front of an A or an O, that's when it makes that K. So E, I, and Y make C say S. Okay, so here's our new spelling word. Are you ready? We're going to talk about the final S sound. So just like when we have the final K sound at the end, we have all those different rules, we have a final S spelling word now. So when you hear S at the end of a word and it's after a short vowel, you're going to add that double S. So look, B, O, S. It needs two S's. Dr, S. It needs two S's. 
us, it needs two S's if it's after that short vowel, okay? We're going to use C-E to make that sound if it's after a long vowel. Watch these words. Ice. Sp. Ace. Tr. Use. So if it's got that long I sound, it's going to have C-E after it. And we're going to use S-E after anything else. So if it's short, after something short, it's going to be the double S. If it's after something long, it's going to be that C-E. That's the trick. And S-E is after anything else. Because what happens is we don't want it to be an S by itself at the end of words unless it's a suffix and it's saying that it, there's more than one of these things, okay? If it's a regular word, it's going to have that S-E. Like in false, see it's after a consonant, so it's S-E. Ow, ow is a um, is a vowel team we haven't worked on yet, and it's going to be S-T. La, oos, after that vowel digraph, it's that S-E. So I know that's kind of tricky, and we're going to practice that. It'll be just like the final K, the K rule that we're still working on now, okay? So here is the letter card for C. We already have added C on to our letter cards, but we have a new letter card for the C cedilla sound, okay? Or soft C. Sometimes we call it soft C. So we call this cedilla. And you say that with me because we're going to really practice that word cedilla. And then I'll also say soft C so we can remember, okay? And our picture for cedilla or soft C is a circle because it makes that sound because it's a C in front of a I. All right, we're going to listen to a few words that have that soft C sound that sounds like an I or sounds like an S. When C meets E, I or Y, the sound is soft. If you know soft C, sing along with me. Soft C sounds like S. Er, A, S. Race. Per, I, S. Price. Sp, A, S. Space. spelling rules because we added that final s or that final s sound at the end of a word rules so when we say the s sound we've added lots of sounds now so if you hear the s in the beginning or the middle of a word it can be s or it can be a c can make that s when we're trying to spell it and then if it's at the end we can have SS, remember we use SS after a short vowel. We can have SE, which is after everything besides a short vowel and a long vowel, and then CE if it's after a long vowel. So here's a little trick to think about. When you are trying to read a CVC word that has that sneaky E on the end, since that SC, if you're trying to make that sound, you're going to spell it. C-E. Think of the words that we saw. We saw m-ice. 
we saw pr ice. If you're trying to make that s sound and you know it's going to be an I sneaky E word or a vowel sneaky E word, you're going to use that CE. And then you're going to use SE after everything else. So we've added lots of spelling sounds for that S. So we're going to, it's going to take us a while to learn all these. All right, so we're going to go ahead and practice that sedilla or soft C. So we're going to be making some different words. All right, here we go. Let's make some words. So you can see that I've already pulled the C and the E up because we know whenever we see an E behind that C, it's going to make the S sound. So I'm going to pull some letters up at the front to make a word, and you're going to help me sound it out. Are you ready? Hmm, I have that I sneaky E, so M. Ice, mice, very good. So I had mice. If I change the beginning sound to an N, now it's gonna be nice, very good. All right, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a special blend at the beginning. And now I have the word slice, slice. very good. All right, let's try putting the CE at the beginning of a word. So I've got C-E, what happens if I add an N and a T at the end? So remember that C-E says cent, cent, very good. All right, and we're gonna change it up a little bit because I know that that C makes the S sound if it's got an I behind it too. Okay, so I've got, all right, so look, I've pulled some letters up, I've got that C-I, but then I also added that final syllable C-L-E, okay? So, er, and then pull, circle, very good. All right, so we know that that I makes the sound if it's in front of an I, an E, and what was the other letter? A Y, very good. Okay, this time I'm gonna put that CY at the end of a word and I wanna see if you can sound it out. So I'm gonna move this part up here. Well, the first part of it, the first part of it, I see F-A-N. You guys know that word, it's fan. And then I've got the C in front of the Y, so E, fan, C, fancy, very good. What if I change that first letter and add an N? Now it's Nancy, very good. You guys did an awesome job making words today. All right, so here are our letter name cards. And our letter name cards haven't changed because we, we talked about C today, but we had already known that when we see the letter C, we say C. But on our sound cards, we have added something new right down here. Remember, we're gonna say, and I'm, we're gonna practice this real quick. Are you ready? We're gonna say circle. We're gonna say sedilla C, soft C, so that you guys can remember, because there's two different ways to say it. Let's try it one more time. Circle. Sedilla C, soft C. Very good. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and code some words real quick. Hi, guys. So we're just gonna really quickly code some words. So let's look at our first word. What do you notice? Well, if we look at the end, it's got that apostrophe S. So we know that means that it's gonna belong to something. This is gonna belong to something. Okay, all right, what do you notice here? Where's my vowel? I've got an O in front of a D, so that O is gonna be short. And then I've got D, D. We know that's a double consonant, so I'm gonna cross one of them off so I don't say D, D, okay? So I've got T, odd. Todd, and then add the S. Todd's, Todd's. Now listen, z -z -z makes that Z sound, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that line through it. So Todd's, ooh, look here. This is a really long word. This is actually one of those compound words. So remember, when we have a compound word, we have to break it apart between words. Well, when I look at the end of this word, I see a word that I know. I see that sh ip, ship. I know that's a word by itself. So I know I must have to break it apart right here between the words, okay? So now if I look at my first word, let's see, what am I gonna need to do? What do you see? Where are my vowels? I've got an A 
and then I've got C, which is the consonant, and an E. So this is going to be an A consonant E word. So that A is going to be long, and that E is going to be silent. That's right, silent. Now, there is something special about this word, okay? Look at that C. We talked about a special C. We talked about the cedilla, okay? Okay, and what that means is that we also call it, sometimes I just like to call it the soft C. So soft C says S, like an S, okay? And remember, it's gonna be a soft C when it's in front of that E, in front of an E, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make that little mark that kind of looks like it's an S coming down from it, okay? That cedilla, okay? So I have sp a s space. See, it makes the s s s sound. So that's why I make that line. I always think of it as an S coming down. It's because it's soft. Space, and then over here, I've already said this word, but we're gonna go ahead and code it. It has that digraph SH, so let's underline that. And then it's got an I that's in front of a P, so it's gonna be short. So sh ip. So Todd's space ship. Down here, how would I code this word? That's a pretty long word. I better find my vowels. Well, I've got an E, and then I have a Y, and then I've got consonants in between. So I'm gonna go ahead and break it apart between those consonants, okay? So now when I look at my first syllable, I've got an E in front of an N that's gonna be short. Tw, N, twin. And then I got a T in front of a Y that I put the dot on it because it's acting as a vowel. So T, twenty, twenty. Then over here, how would I code this one? What do you see? That's right, I look at the end and I've got an S. So let's go ahead and box off that suffix S because remember that means more than one. And then what else do I have? I've got that IR letter combination, so I'm going to hook them together. So, b -erd. bird, and then add the S, birds. Oh, listen to that sound, birds. It's got the Z sound. So, Todd Spaceship 20 Birds. Awesome job coding, guys. Hi, guys. So, we're just going to really... All right, guys, we are going to practice the skill that we talked about today by pulling out our activity sheet. All right, guys, we are ready for our um, sheet for the day, our activity sheet. And today we learned something totally different. We learned about soft C or cedilla C, like in circle. So it's that C that makes the s, -s, -s sound. We're going to warm up with just some um, spelling sounds real quick, and they might be some really easy ones for us. Are you ready? So what about the g sound, if I want to spell g? G, perfect, the letter G, okay? What about the m sound? M, good job. What about the p, p sound? That's right, P like pig. Well, let's try some trickier ones. What about the oo sound, oo? that digraph O-O, -O. thank you. Then what about shh, digraph S-H, perfect. All right, what about the I sound, I? It could be I, consonant E, it can be I, and then at the end, it can also be what? It can be Y, remember Y, when it makes the I at the end, it's almost always a Y. All right, on number seven, what about the ch, ch sound, like cheese? C-H, perfect. And then number eight, or, or, O-R, very good. All right, what about the b b sound b good job and then our last one what if i wanted to make the u uh sound u uh. that's digraph o o 2 good job all right on number 11 we're going to try to spell a few words remember it's kind of tricky cuz we have some sounds that some letter combinations that make the same sound so let's try turtle 
T. Now, I hear the er sound, but I'm going to know when I say turtle, that's my picture for a combination U R. So I know it's got to be U R. So T er, and then at the end, listen, tool, tool. What do we know about that tool sound? Final syllable T L E. Very good. All right, and the next one, far. F, very good. Then R. When we want to spell R, we say A R because it has to have a vowel in there. It's just covered up by the sound of the R. All right, for our last one, we're going to write the spelling sound for S. So we used to write S, S right? Well, now we have lots of spelling sounds for it. We have S. And it can be C, too, in the middle of a word or at the beginning. But then at the ending, there's several spellings. Remember that final spelling is several of them. It can be S, S, after a short vowel, like mess or less, comma. It can be S, E, after everything else, except it can be C, E, after a long vowel, like mice or dice. So it can be S, 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 E, or C, E. Okay. All right, we're going to practice that a little bit. If I want to spell the word ice, what do I hear? Ice. Okay. I've got that final S. And remember, final S can be S, 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 E, or C, E. Well, this is after a long I, so I need to use... C E. I use C E after the long I. Ice. How about face? F A A and then that s s at the end. But listen, it's after a long A, so it's going to be C E again because it's after a long vowel. Face. How about nice? N N N I. Good job. Long I, so it's going to have C-E at the end. N ice. Perfect. All right, we're going to look down here. Now, my first word, I have R-A-C-E. So let's think about this. Where are my vowels? I've got a vowel here, and I've got an E here. So this is an A consonant E word. So that means that A is long, and that E is silent. And since it's a long A, it's got a C behind it. It's got that C-E. So it's going to be a sedilla C or a soft C. So when I sound it out, I would say race, race. So basically, if you see this C-E at the end of the word, you know it's going to be a S sound. The next one, we have an I consonant E word. So same thing. I'm going to make it a long I, silent E. That C and that E are together, so it's going to have a sedilla, sedilla or small, a sedilla or soft C, m ice, mice. Ooh, when I see a picture of mice, I'm going to go ahead and draw it. Next one, the same thing, it's going to be an A consonant E word. Long A, silent E, and since it's C E, it's a sedilla C or a soft C, so l ace lace. Okay, the next one's a little bit different. What do you notice about it? Well, I always check my ending first, and look, I've got final syllable, C-L-E. So I'm going to put my bracket off, and I'm going to make the E silent. Okay, then at the beginning, I have that I and the R together, so I'm going to connect them. So, sir, sir, cool, circle. And our last word, well, this is a longer word. And I see more than one vowel, so I need to make sure I mark them. I've got vowel, vowel, and I've got consonant, consonant in between. So I'm going to break it apart, and then it's just like two CVC words. So vowel in front of consonant, short E. But look, it's a C, E together, so the C is going to be soft. It's going to have a sedilia, and it's going to say sent, sent. Over here, that E and the R together, so I need to hook them together and say t -er, ter, so center, center. So I had race, mice, lace,
circle and center. Very good. All right, down here, let's see what I have. What do you notice first? Well, I see that QU, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that arc, because I know they're gonna be a letter combination and arc them together. Now I have an I in front of an L, so that I is gonna be short. And I know that I'm gonna cross off one of those L's, because I'm not gonna say oh, oh. So then when I sound it out, I say qu, il, quill. All right, on our next one, you guys just know this word. It's just we. My vowel is E, and it's going to be long because it's open behind it. There's nothing back there. So we. All right, on number 24, where are my vowels? I've got a U, and I've got a Y. Let's see if that Y is a vowel for this word. If I do a consonant, consonant, break it apart. Now, I know this looks like two P's together, and you want to cross out one of the P's, but it's not. It's a different syllable, so we don't cross off one of the P's. Because over here, this makes it a CVC word, so that U is short, and we'd say gup. See, that's its own syllable, gup. And then over here, we have Y as a vowel, and we know that Y can say I or E at the end, but it's a two-syllable word, so it's probably going to be E. So let's try E. So gup, P, guppy. All right, on 25, what do you notice? I see that B-L-E, so I'm going to put my bracket up, and I'm going to cross off the E because that's going to say bull. Now, remember, this bracket is like a wall. So this A is like there's nothing behind it, so it's going to be open and long. So I would say T-A, table, table. And our last word, which is kind of hard to see, we're going to code on top of it because of it. I've got a vowel here and a vowel here, and I've got two consonants in between, so I'm gonna break them apart, okay? And my first syllable, I've got that U-R, so I'm gonna connect them and say t -er. And my next syllable, I've got an I in front of a P, so it's gonna be short, so t -n -ip, turnip. So we have quill, we, guppy, table, and turnip, and that's a picture of a turnip, so I'm gonna connect it. All right, on the back, remember we're practicing finding information in what we read and answering questions, okay? So you're gonna read with me and then we're gonna mark the, the um, sight words and go back and find our answers. So Shay's dad has a nice, nice shed, shed. His shed has grain, grain for his Horse, horse. Twice he has had mice, mice get into the grain. The grain is not good if mice, mice disturb it. Shay's dad started k -eep, keeping the grain in a place that the mice can't enter. Since doing this, he has had success keeping his grain free of mice. Who has a nice shed? Who has a nice shed? It says Shay's dad has a nice shed. So I'm going to put Shay's dad. We always go back and find our information. Have mice gotten into Shay's dad's grain? Yes or no? Yes, they have. It says right here, it says twice he has had mice get into his grain. So not even just once, twice. What did Shay's dad have success with? Feeding mice, keeping the mice from his grain, or helping Shay feed the horses? What do you think? Keeping the mice from his grain, that's right. Keeping the mice in a place that the m mice can't enter. So keeping those mice away from his grain. Good job. All right, so there's some words that you can practice down here. And then you're all done for the day. All right, you guys did an awesome job. Thank you.